It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of brilliant idiotness. Schultz, what's happening? Tell him, bro, how are you? I'm blessed, black, and highly favored, man. Same, man. Um, Wax is here. Let's get right to it. Yeah. Uh, what did you see this week, Schultz, that made you say positively brilliant? What a fucking idiot. I'm going to tell you, the, what I saw was brilliant was a comment on YouTube where somebody said... Um, Charlemagne asks Schultz that question every week, and Schultz acts like <laughs> Schultz, <laughs> Schultz acts like he don't know. Schultz is like positively brand. I don't know. That's a good question. He <laughs> 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 don't know. I'm gonna ask. Yo, t- you know, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's absolutely true. Is every week I tell myself after we record, yo, next week I'm gonna have something for positively brilliant. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> And then, then Brilliant Idiots comes around. I'm like Taylor when we ask her to do her job, bro. I'm stalling. Excuse I'm me. I'm doing absolutely nothing. Who knows anything? So honestly, what is positively brilliant this week? I got nothing for you, bro. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I saw. I don't know if it's positively brilliant. I don't know where this lands, but I thought it was hilarious. I still think it's because it's happening right now. TikTok trying to cancel Eminem. I think it's funny <laughs> as fuck. When kids go back to eras that they they shouldn't even be playing around in that box yeah, show. Don't get it. Get out of there. If you was talking to a child, you'd be like, yo, don't go in that 90s box show. Yeah. What happened? They're just playing old Eminem lyrics and doing what outrage culture does. <laughs> Trying to yeah. build a case against Eminem. But I'm going to tell you why that will never work. That's Eminem's whole shtick. Yeah, it's tricky, man, because... Yeah, if you go wow. back and listen to some Eminem songs or even like some skits or the Wow in- Boy, Brilliant Idiots, old Brilliant Idiots had nothing on old M. Eminem was one of the wildest people in history, bro. M- Eminem is the reason that we thought we could get away with that type of shit. Yeah, it's nah, his fault. He's still Blame it on him. Get away with that. For real though. Because think about it. In the era we grew up in, there's a bar. Yeah. Right? Like, there's a bar in the area that we grew up in. So if you're growing up in entertainment, you're a performer, you're a rapper, comedian, radio personality, what it is. If your bars are the the, the Howard Sterns and the, the Stars and the M&Ms and yeah. Wendy, Wendy, all of these people that you, you hear they them wild. saying this wild shit, yeah. what are you supposed to do? Yeah, yeah. Even yeah, Biggie lyrics yeah, is yeah, wild. It is, oh, come on. It Jeez. is crazy. It's, it's absolutely crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's, cra- it's, it's crazy, but the funny part is just listening to kids be upset. Mm. You're not going to build a case against Eminem. You know why? Because all the people who have the power, I guess, to cancel, whatever the fuck that means, mm-hmm. they grew up loving Eminem, too. <laughs> they was the ones putting them in. <laughs> Eminem was one of the biggest stars in the world, at one point, the biggest star. My so, name is, that song was retarded. Yes, he was everybody's guilty pleasure. Yeah, I, I never was a fan. I never was like a. I, I respected him as a lyricist, but I never was a a diehard Eminem fan. But he has a lot of diehard fans. I was a fan, bro. Yeah, really, I felt heard. Really, yeah. I Why? Felt heard. He didn't relate. I mean, he was a white dude from the Midwest. Yeah, you could relate to him. How did you relate to him as a, a white New York at the time? I would say more liberal. <laughs> <laughs> right not saying you're conservative now i'm just saying you had a lot more liberal values back then i would think i don't think my values have changed at all really yeah not in the least what's changed what values i don't know i mean that's a good point because i know for a fact i got more conservative values just because i'm from the south there's things that i like that i know lean a little bit more a, no. l- a little bit more conservative i was teasing about feeling hurt from eminem i just thought he was a wild fucking boy but uh in terms of values, yeah, none of my values have changed at all. It's just what has become important parts of like national discourse has changed. So, and what's crazy is we should be able to have a conversation about that without it being an issue. Is this- you don't think sometimes Crips see something really nice and red and they go, that'd be cool. Like, I like those Gucci yeah, flip flops. I'm mad like- he can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't All think I, a crip sees a dope versace shirt that might got some red in it and he's like all right i'm a, I, you know i'm blue mostly but sometimes i like fucking with the red yeah 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 yeah. yeah. i mean to that point though it's just it, it's, as you get older it's just about what you pick and choose to give energy to that's all 
I guess my point with the whole thing about like how you identify politically is like it's so stupid to think that you believe only the things that your party believes. Like if you're a reasonable, that's why I don't like the term centrist, right? Because I'm not a, mm. I don't, I'm not in the center. I am I think, left with these things, right with these things. Yeah, peace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then my overall probably is in the center if you average it all out. But I don't hear every issue and go, yeah, both sides make sense. <laughs> but I think that's what makes you a centrist, though, right? Because you're not on either side. I think when they mean center, it's just like you are in the middle. Like you could go either way. The, to pro the problem with the left and right thing is people on the left refuse to hear what the right is saying. Mm -hmm. People on the right refuse to hear what the left is saying. I think the middle, is the center is the best place to be because you got I, both ears open. Yeah, Pro but it's also pussy because it's like you don't have a, a, a stance on it. So it's like I have a strong stance on all these different issues. Sometimes my stance is left. Sometimes my stance is right. I have a strong stance. That doesn't mean that I'm not willing to listen to your stance that's right. And I'm not yeah. willing to listen to your stance that's left as well, but I still feel certain ways about things. You know what I mean? I, 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 this idea that these people like are just in the middle and they don't sway in either way, I don't think that's a lie. Come on, bro. Come on. I, 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 I think that's actually the best place to be because once again, like, you know, the 48 Laws of Power always says, you know, do, do not do not commit to anyone. It was like fools rush to pick sides. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And to me, it's not about a side. It's just simply about what I personally believe is right or wrong in that situation. A lot of times it's due to my own self-interest. Other times it's due to how can this benefit the whole of us? Mm -hmm. If I hear an idea that I may not necessarily agree with, but I know that it's going to benefit a mass majority of people. I'm probably going to ride with the idea that benefits the mass majority of people. Right. And I think the middle most of the time is the best place to be. That's the whole problem with the world right now, though, right? Because everything's not right or wrong. Everything's not good or bad, right? Everything's not Republican, Democrat. Some things are just in that gray area that's in that middle. Yeah. And if you open your, if you keep your mind open and be objective, man, you can really learn from every fucking body. You got pros yes. and cons and everything. A hundred percent. Are there... Yes, there's tons in the gray. Um, I I did a whole special for Netflix about the gray and yeah. how people are reasonable and hundred percent. I just don't like the idea of a strength centrist because I think it like it neuters you by its definition. You can so be what, like there's that Chris Rock joke, like he's like, I'm conservative about this thing, I'm liberal about that thing. Remember that joke? Like, when it comes to I prostitution, liberal. When it comes to what what was the other one? Uh, I forgot what it was. I forgot. I forgot what the other one was. I don't remember what the other one was. But it's just like, what are you then? Are, uh, by the way, do you have to be anything? You don't. And that's the problem now. It's like you can't even agree. Like if the president says vanilla ice cream is delicious, and you go, no, nah, you no, know, Trump is right about that. It's like, oh, this guy out here supporting Trump. <laughs> like sometimes he's gonna say some things you agree with. Yeah, sometimes right? you go to if some things are funny. <laughs> sometimes your worst enemy is gonna have something in common with you. And it's you dope. agreeing with them on that thing doesn't mean you endorse everything they say. Yeah, yeah we just got to stop yeah. saying stupid shit like a broken clock is right twice a day. That's it, literally one of the dumbest things in the world to say when it comes to people's ideas, right? Because no, motherfucker, a broken clock's not right twice a day. A broken clock is just broke. <laughs> It's just broke. You know what I'm saying? Like that to me, when you got a broke clock, if you got a broke clock on the wall, right? <laughs> and it's just sitting there, you probably can't afford a new one. So you're just trying to make the best out of a bad situation. Well, it's 6 30 in the morning. Well, it's 6 30 at night. But if that's the only time you look at that clock, you're right. You're right. But it's still fuck it's the clock is still broken. I hear what you're saying. You need a whole new clock. That's all I'm saying. Everybody's ideas aren't great. Cause some people, because think about it, bro, the broke clock's only right twice a day. What about the other 22 motherfucking hours? Is that what you really want? That's yeah. the pros and cons and things, though. That's the pros and cons. I, I would rather 50-50 as opposed to 22. 20 whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. 20 80, You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I, I got, I, if, I, if I'm dealing with you on any level other than business, because I'll take 20% of a billion-dollar company all day long. Oh, but other than anything else, it's like it got to be a 50-50. If not, it's like, what are we doing? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's because you got two good ideas don't mean you're a genius. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of your shit might be 
disruptive as fuck. The rest <laughs> of your shit might cause the fucking like end of the, the world. Bank. Yeah, like robbing the bank. Yeah, we're gonna get money. We're gonna look good after, but what you gotta do to you get it? We robbed yeah. the fucking bank. <laughs> that's so. That's so interesting though, because like, if you hit, if you bat three hundred in baseball, you're an all star, and you're gonna go to the Hall of Fame. That means you just the clock was right three times a day. Out of how much though? How many times? How many at bats do you get? A game, you're saying? Oh yeah, or throughout a season, how many at bats did you get? Well, it you're you're basically hitting and getting on base thirty percent. Thirty percent. So three of the out time. of every ten. If you get on base three out of every ten, you're a genius. Jesus so Christ, what is the horrible. level? What is the level Damn. for genius, bro? <laughs> what do you say? Three out of ten is fuck. I can do better than and that. And that's crazy because in basketball, that's shitty as fuck. That's, yeah, that's you're horrible. out the league. You're out the yeah, league for three out of ten. That's so, not even a D league. Exactly. So it really depends when it comes to like genius. There are certain things that we tolerate more failure and certain things we tolerate almost none. Mm, yeah. You know, in order to be a genius mm. free throw shooter, you got to shoot nine out of ten. Nine out of ten yes. got to go in. In order to be a genius investor, you probably got to get one out of ten. In order to be a genius TV producer, you probably need one out of ten. One out of ten, yeah. Yeah, that is true, right? Yeah, that's true, especially with the investments in the TV. Because, I mean, shit, who, nobody even notices your failures if you get one Seinfeld. Bro, you know they what forget. Saying? They think you're nobody, a genius. Right. Yeah, nobody notices anything else you do if you were the guy that created Apple. Or the, you know what I mean? Like, if when you create something that changes the world, nobody gives a fuck about what you do afterwards, yeah. which is a gift and a curse, right? Because you set a bar too high for yourself. I was talking about that this morning with Matthew Knowles saying he wants to leave the music industry. Who's it's that? like when you give the world Destiny's Child and Beyonce comes from that, if you don't get another Destiny's Child or Beyonce, what yeah. else is there to do? Get out the way. Who's Matthew Knowles? Beyonce's daddy. Oh. Yeah. Was, so he still, like, what you, was he still trying to make music? I guess. I guess he still had artists and stuff like that. But guess what? Nobody cared. Yeah. Because they have to be on that level. They have to be on the caliber of a Destiny's Child, one of the biggest R&B groups of all time, one of the biggest girl groups of all time, period. They got to be on the level of a Beyonce. It's just like, I'm sure Joe Jackson probably tried to do music after the Jackson 5. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Who gave a fuck? You don't water yourself down. Yeah. I mean, he tried. That's, that's what I think Floyd doing right now. We're trying to fight this guy. He about to water himself down. That dude going to whip his ass, bro. Who? Floyd going to get his ass whipped by that dude. What dude? Uh, Floyd. Floyd ain't supposed to be fighting somebody? Yeah. Logan Paul? Jake yeah. Paul? All right. He's a different weight class, like I said. Man, stop. All right. I would love to see that. Stop. I'm just saying. You gotta be easy. You, you think Logan his, Paul is gonna beat Floyd his, Mayweather? If he do, he water himself down. Get out the way. Is this one of them times we just creating content for the podcast? Or <laughs> no. This wax really serious. Like yo, you're really serious. I, yo, Andrew, do you think that this guy? I think he. I think he hit harder than Floyd. I don't, did Floyd never knocked anybody yeah, out. Yeah, but he, he's not going to, to touch yeah, Floyd. Exactly. Right, then I want to see it. If he do, I think he's gonna hit him hard. I think Floyd not used to getting hurt. I'm hit first off, and Floyd never knocked anybody out. Did I see that he actually put him out? Floyd's knocked out people. I ain't seen him knock nobody yeah, out. Floyd's like knocked that. out people. I see a lot of tapping. They see he went with points. I liked Floyd Later, game because he he know how to he know how to box. He he got the skill of boxing down, but fighting somebody who's a dog who wanna come fuck you up, I think you I think you put yourself in something, bro. You know why nobody ever hit Floyd? I understand. It's hard to hit this guy. But if he get hit up, and do put in a bad situation, I think he's going to win. Do you think he will, though? That's the point. I think Floyd Wax. might lose because of different Man, weight stop. class. What are you I, saying? I just want to see. I would love Wax. to see this. Wax. <laughs> Let me hear Wax. it. Let me hear it. I know Logan. Okay? Okay. I'm not saying he's a close friend, but he's a colleague. You've been on his podcast. He watched the Super Bowl at my house out here in Miami. We do each okay. other's podcasts. He's a very sweet guy. I've told Thanks. him to his face. That Floyd Mayweather is going to demolish him. <laughs> okay, listen, that's cool. And that's, that's all no good. Chance. I'm it's looking no at chance. weight class. No, no, wax, right, wax, 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 wax. Go ahead. What is the weight class is, makes him so much slower than Floyd? I, I, Go ahead, show Here's the this. thing. What is what is Floyd the best at? What is he known as the best? Dodging at? Defense. getting out the way. Defense. Greatest defensive fighter no, of all time. Not defensive even close. Fighter I think Floyd. So if I think if I shoot at Floyd once, he could move out the way. At least one bullet. At least one bullet. Now, at least one. At least one. Right, what do you that. think that Logan has offensively that Floyd hasn't seen from the best fighters in history? In the world. In a different weight class. 
huh? wax that makes him slower. That don't make us more power. He and if he gets you, if he gets you in a situation, he's going to be in trouble. He's way slower than Floyd. Floyd's conditioning is still I would love better. To see that. Make sure we are watching this fight. I would love to see so this one. So Floyd Mayweather fought. Floyd Mayweather fought uh, a guy named Canelo Alvarez. Made him now, em embarrassed him. Embarrassed Canelo. Canelo Alvarez could not touch him. And Canelo could Alvarez not touch him. is super fast, has great head movement. Again, Canelo Alvarez again, is amazing. fighting guys right now that weigh 168 pounds. That means they mm -hmm. probably walk around around 190 pounds. Okay. Yep. Logan Paul probably weighs 190, something like that, maybe a little bit more, but he's and muscular. How much did Floyd weigh? By the way, that night, that night of Canelo uh Mayweather, they said Canelo, he weighed in Gosh. at like 160 something, but they said on fight night, he might have been like 180. Yeah. He came, they said he might have uh, been like 180, 185 when he fought Floyd. When I and by the way, Canelo's the best pound for pound boxer much, in much, boxing right now. How much Floyd weigh? When? I don't know. Right now, how much Floyd weigh? Or are he going? Go I bet you right now boxing? Floyd's walking around at one fifty three or something. I like doubt. That. I doubt that much. Forty nine. I doubt that much. Four one forty nine. But still around that area. We're talking about okay. around his Respect. fighting weight. Okay. Yo, he made when I say he embarrassed Canelo so bad, and this was Floyd was old. Canelo was super young, like early twenties. He made Canelo miss so bad one time that Canelo hit the top rope. I remember <laughs> that. Listen, I'm not taking nothing from Floyd. I just saying, stay in your weight class. You'll stay there. You'll be okay. Just like, uh, just like Robinson, he fucked his whole shit up. You're comparing Floyd Mayweather to Nate Robinson. I'm just saying. I'm just saying about <laughs> fucking your whole shit up because you're talking about the nose guy. You're comparing Floyd Mayweather to Nate Robinson. <laughs> I'm not. We really talking Listen, about nose. Nate, <laughs> Floyd, Floyd Mayweather in his sleep. <laughs> In his sleep, could dodge a punch. I, I get I'm talking you, about you could walk in Floyd's room and go boo and swing. And he he move out the I, way. I, I get what you're saying, but ain't we talking about this guy knows and he <laughs> over here doing the he trying to do something else? And so I'm talking about Robinson. He shouldn't have went boxing. He was dunking on people. Yo, that who's wax must be some good. It is some good shit. shit it is, yeah. That who's wax <laughs> weed must be some good it's amazing. shit. You should go. That, try I have it. not heard. I have not. When I say I have not heard <laughs> one person, I'm talking about one human being on this planet. Say Logan Paul is gonna beat Floyd Mayweather. Mike Tyson told Logan Paul, "You don't stand a fucking chance." Boxing is a science. It bro. is. It is. It's just a different wax. It's like football skill set. It's, it's just wax. like football. Wax. It's all about angles and stuff. Who gets you there better? Go wax. Ahead. Go ahead. Logan Paul doesn't even believe that he's gonna beat Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> it's a payday. It's a payday. You're the, the only him, person. I'm, I'm looking at. I'm that looking at size. He's gonna beat Floyd Mayweather. Are you basing him off the other one? No, I'm the hell no, I'm not facing the motherfucking Wax. Um, the other guy. Logan no Paul's way. gonna be huffing and puffing by the third, fourth round. <laughs> and and by the way, he's, a, he's not gonna touch him for the third or fourth, the first Let's three, see. four I rounds. Would love to see this. By the fourth round, he's gonna be huffing and puffing, and you're gonna see Floyd picking this man apart badly. Exactly. And Floyd don't even gotta hit hard. It's just gonna be the repetition of pap 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 pap. Are you talking about because he's older now? No, it's not that no. he's older at all. I'm looking at weight class. I seen some dudes who could fucking do karate. Who like yo? He gonna whip his ass. And the other dude was just bigger. And them little how 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 shits ain't even fucking work. He knocked his ass the fuck out. <laughs> Go to sleep, nigga. Go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. He said, go to sleep. sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I love Put him that. to sleep. How, ah! how, how much does Logan weigh? Probably 200. Oh, my God. He's going to get hurt. But here's the thing. Right, he I'm weighs 200. I'm talking through experience. Man. But he weighs 200, but he's bulked up to 200. He's not lean 200. He's, oh, my God. He's going to get hurt. He's put it on weight to be muscular at 200 pounds. If he was... <sighs> A pure boxer, he probably walk. He probably fight at one seventy five if he was going to be I like a that. pure boxer. He's my height. He's about six and, two. And how many um how many fights has he had? Two. Yeah, I think two two fights. <laughs> listen, I hear, I'm listen. I'm with you. Are you serious? But that's the motherfucking. <laughs> I will be honest great. with you though. I'm telling I will you be man, honest with you him. though. I've heard from people that his brother Jake could fight for real, and I've heard from people I respect, guys who are seen, in boxing. We've seen gym. Jake. Yeah, but we saw him fight against Nate Robinson. Nate Robinson can't fight for shit. But I've heard from dudes that are like in the gym, like seeing him spar, like work with him. They say that they're well, like, yo, the, the kid, the kid can fight. Um, Floyd, right? No, that's Logan. Logan, oh. his brother. Listen, oh. Jake is probably a good amateur fighter, but I saw him on World Star yesterday, you know, trying to call out Canelo Alvarez. It's like, relax, buddy. <laughs> like, yo, but like real relax. Talk? Real talk? Jake is saving Stop. boxing. No bullshit. I mean, there's 100%. Without Jake creating all this controversy in boxing, 
who the fuck will we care about in terms well, of boxing? Well, well, the reason I can't give him that yet is because he hasn't there. fought no boxers. You yeah. know what I mean? Boxing like, 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 I, like, like, I got to see Jake fight a boxer, His right? weight class. And I got to see, because the only interest I see him generating from other boxing fans is the fact that he's a cocky kid who people want to see him get fucked up, which is yeah. always the thing, reminds right? Reminds like, me. Reminds me of somebody else who did pretty well in boxing. Floyd Money Mayweather. There we but go. Floyd you Money Mayweather was Floyd Money Mayweather yes. did that after he got to a certain point and he was really good. Really skilled. He had beat a bunch of boxes. Bernard you know what Hopkins I mean? played the villain his whole career. I'm not saying that Jake is as good as these professional boxers. Obviously, professional boxers are going to mm -hmm. whoop his ass, but yeah, he's undeniably creating interest in a sport that was devoid of interest. The only interesting people that were in boxing were Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder, I think, got mm -hmm. concussed to the point where he don't even remember history correctly. <laughs> and what Tyson Fury is just fighting English dudes in England. Like, nobody else what? is holding up the boxing game. Manny Pacquiao is still giggling. You don't know what the fuck this guy's saying. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, what's his well, face? Oscar De La Hoya. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't Him think. And I could, Fallon they Fox were, are probably going out on the weekends. Wow. <laughs> they, they, who? Fallon who? Fox. That girl you were talking about earlier. Oh, there was times. There was times. Um, there was a time when boxing was the biggest sport in, in America. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think around the 80s, 90s, 2000s, for the most part, except for like one fighter, which is probably Mike Tyson. Boxing was for the casual fan. I mean, for, for the for the the diehards. It wasn't for the casual fans. Nah, we were, dude. The Oscar De La Hoya era of boxing was massive. The Floyd Mayweather era of boxing was massive. Yeah, like was. there have been Floyd guys. Floyd bought in casuals. Lennox I don't think Lewis. De La Hoya bought in casuals. Bro. Everybody who did. Oh, De La Hoya was the first to bring in the casuals. He had the biggest pay per view so? numbers in history. Yeah, and he was the first one, not the first, but one of the first to bring in women. Women saw him. He was a good looking guy. And they yeah, went fucking yeah, crazy. True. They'd pull up to the fights. But you also got to remember, once boxing started doing them 24-7 documentaries, that changed yeah, the game. Because it was like looking at reality reality shows. But we Mike didn't Tyson. watch all of them. We watched, we watched, Mike we watched Tyson. Mayweathers. We watched I Mayweather. watch them now, but I'm a boxing guy. I, I love boxing. So I watch all that shit. I'm just saying, like, the sport was popping and then the... The, you know, the financial return was huge. Like these boxers yeah. were making tons of fucking money. And uh, they still are but, though. Yeah, they are. We lost the we lost the personalities, man. Once the personalities go, I mean Canelo could be the most entertaining per, uh, person in the world. We just can't understand what the fuck he's saying. Oh yeah, yeah. He's like the ultimate yeah. warrior. He's like Bill Goldberg of the ultimate warrior. Exactly. And, he, and even though and even though even though he's Spanish, so we don't understand him, but he still has like that that duh personality. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not gonna lie. When when they translate his shit, his shit sound fire. It sounds fire, right? It sounds fire. Like the shit he said about Jake Paul yesterday. I don't know if he really said it. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> he said. Sh they, 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 the shit he said was like, yo, he's I, I don't respect him. He's a sucker. He's ruining the sport. Yada yeah, he, yada yada. I'm like, oh yeah, you shit. say he went, he, you say he helping the sport. I think he's just fucking it up. I think somebody need to go in there, fuck him up and sit his ass down. Well, the fact because that we're he, talking about boxing right now, which we rarely do outside yeah. of like we always talk about boxing. Nah, it's gotta be a Mayweather fight. It's gotta be a tight Tyson Fury fight. Lennox Lewis, yeah. It's got to be big. Saying. Lennox Lewis, bro. Lennox Lewis hasn't <laughs> fought since way before we even started podcasting. That who's wax. wax, bro. That who's Early. wax weed, bro. This I'm telling fire. you. You know, wax me on YouTube watching them old fights and thinking these people still fighting now. Bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. Man, Instagram <laughs> like, got all that shit, man. I'm telling you. He think they still fighting right fucking now. That shit now, was crazy. to your point, Adrian Brona won a fight recently okay. and Adrian Brona was a great shit talker, mm -hmm. but Adrian Brona could couldn't back it up. So the problem with guys like Jake Paul is once you get your ass handed to you once, nobody wants to hear that shit no more. And that's yeah. the that's the thing about I I don't know, bro. What I I literally what I told what I told Jake was this. I said, "Listen, you are going to get one fight against a legit guy, and that's the fight you need to cash in." You know what I'm saying? It, it's fight. like don't take the fight with the real boxer until you're willing to lose the fight. Because everything, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. everything right now is building up to that time where you actually fight Conor McGregor, you fight Floyd, you fight someone who is going to beat you. But in the meantime, you got to specifically select people who are famous enough for you to generate interest, but not mm -hmm. good enough at boxing where you can knock their asses the fuck out. 
By yeah. the way, if I was Jake, that's all I would do, Schultz. I'd be trying to create my own league. Yeah. Forget yeah. fighting the real fighters. I'd be calling out rappers, <laughs> Basketball athletes, players, all, all, that yep. all that shit. And I would be fucking with their egos. Yep. I'd be calling them old. You know what I mean? I might even throw a little, little racism in it. You know what I'm saying? But not racism on some like... Fuck you, black people, but like, yo, y'all just mad that you know a white boy is out here dominating, you know what I'm saying? I'm mad already. You, you afraid to get beat up by a white boy? <laughs> no, I'm serious. You got beat up by like, a white boy. Like, That's what Robinson can't be with his family right now. <laughs> so yo, you know Robinson if you get beat up speak, in front bro. of your girl, yo, that's something very important. I know you somebody who got Robinson killed because, speak. because he said they got beat up in front of his girl, yo. Yo, yo we yo, ain't wait, seen Nate for what? real. Nate, where, has Nate even been on Instagram, yo? Nate is gone, bro. Yo, he's gone. He got Nate beat up in front gone, of his girl. Bro. Nah, that's just fucked up, man. That's just fucked up, man. He's dunking on people, man. No, for real, man. That's one of them fucking, he he smoked your cousin right in front of you. And you ain't gonna do shit? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I thought I thought that Tupac went up went too far when he gave uh Woody he would he ha would Harris that bag and above the rim to go shoot after he lost that game. But man, if there was ever a time to shoot up a goddamn man. arena. <laughs> His wife should have had a, a, a something. She should have put a, a fucking smoke bomb or something oh, in that motherfucker. Oh man, Nate. Damn Nate. Man. He responded after and then after that, I never said, yeah, but it was like him. some, you know, God got a plan when one Shut door up, closed. <laughs> <laughs> that don't work. That ain't he got, got broken nothing. up with. Yeah. <laughs> Like that Yo, ain't got nothing do. to do with nothing, man. Yo, and I, God, God did have a plan. And <laughs> yeah, you for were Jake Paul. Yeah. <laughs> for Jake Paul. It was a plan for Jake. Not a plan for Nate. By the way. That's what you and when I Google him, that's the, all that comes up. I know, man. Stuff. And I think we talked about that on the podcast. If I was Nate's homie, if I was in Nate's corner, I would have told Nate don't take that fight. You can't. And Nate called well, we Jake out. Him. We jump at him. If I'm on your corner, you had to fight this nigga, and I, I'm be jumping this I, nigga. I would, I would have nah, told Nate not, not to if take. You called out the fight. Your boy exactly. called the Fuck other guy that. out. But I would, I would have told Nate not nope. to take the fight for the same reason we know Floyd Mayweather is going to beat up on Logan Paul. Jake Paul just has more experience in that goddamn ring. Yeah, <laughs> Jake Paul is, has been in the gym more. <laughs> Jake Paul has more experience with fights. Nate. Coming fresh off the basketball court, to, court putting on some gloves. He was like, come yeah. on, bro. You know what's tricky, though, for Logan, so though? With up. Logan fighting uh, Floyd is that Logan is really likable. And, like, he plays the good guy very well. Whereas mm -hmm. Jake is does not care if people hate him. He does not care. He actually enjoys trolling. And that's what you mm. need to be. In order to fight these guys and generate real revenue, he's got to lean into being a villain. And he's totally fine with that shit. Yeah, but he got to win, bro. Yeah. He got to win. When, when it, if he loses one fight, all of that shit is over. Yeah, he going to yeah. be like, oh, boy. What's his name you just said? Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner. He, fuck, he the one who fucked boxing up. Yo, he could, honestly. He could have been a big-ass star. He could have been, everybody could have been watching him, even though he's a bad guy. But once you got, once you lost, ain't nobody like, man, looking at this shit. I see what y'all saying, but I love boxing. I think boxing is great right now. I like right boxing, now. too. Man, just, name five boxers yeah. that are boxing right now. Gervonta Davis, Tyson Fury. Canelo Alvarez, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spencer, Sean Porter. First of all, it's Earl fucking Spence. Keith Thurman. What I said, Earl Spencer? I always say that. Keith Thurman. Leroy Devella. What? <laughs> Leroy Devella, man. He's a good boxer. Anthony Joshua. Fucking it's some good fights, man. Some good fight. Yeah, Anthony Joshua. I forgot about him. I, uh, I, uh, the dude Lopez. I, Tito Lopez. Tito Lopez is a beast. Tia Fimo. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Teofima Lopez is a fucking beast. I was watching a good ass lightweight fight um the night of Broner. That fight was way better than the Broner fight. The dude uh Valdez, it was Valdez versus um uh, I forgot it was a lightweight fight, but they was banging. Yeah. I like but I'm a boxing guy. I like, yeah, I like boxing. That. I like boxing too. Look, I, like I love boxing it. too, but I yeah. recognize what boxing needs for the casuals, and that is People who understand social media and know how to talk that shit and generate interest in a fight. MMA, the guys in the UFC are brilliant at this. They talk shit to each other on each other's profiles. Mm -hmm. They go comment on each other's shit. They really generate the interest. They promote their own fight to the point where the UFC goes, I guess we got to make them fight. They yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. It's really great to see what they're doing because their future is in their hands to a certain extent. And the UFC rewards those fighters know how to generate interest because they know that that's eyeballs. Boxing, now the young boxers, do that. The young boxers are doing that. Gervonta Davis, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, 
and they do it the new school way. They be on Twitter talking shit. Good. Yeah. I fuck your girl. I'll do this. I do yes. that. Like I, you want to see them get down with each other. You want them to be like Hulk yes. Hogan and them back in the day. Easy. Yo, if you say you're gonna fuck someone's girl and then you knock them out, what happens, yo? You got if you got to fuck. She gotta give you some pussy. Lord have mercy. Oh my Not God. Yet, I have to, but you know what I mean. Lord have mercy. <laughs> she had a Me Too times up movement. Correct no, guys no. quick. <laughs> no, not that she has to. Not that. Not that she. Not that she. Has to. Yeah, wax really changed, huh? It's different. It's different. Wax Self correction is great. Yo, okay. just, just like if you beat somebody up in front of their girl, she could kind of leave with you. Like she don't want to be with you no more. <laughs> yeah, that shit is fucked up, man. I'm just saying, like. That's a crazy thing. Like, if you if you say that to somebody, I'm a fucking girl, and then you beat someone up, then you look at them like, what do they what do they say back to you? They, no, if I'm a guy, I'm gonna tell the other guy, if you beat me, I'm gonna fuck you. Why? <laughs> Whoa. For no reason. Cause then, no, because then the nah, dude don't want to lose. You're gonna be asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good job. But then the dude don't want to lose. The dude won't try to beat you. Yeah, he will. He'll put you to sleep. He'll kill you. No, yes. I, okay. yeah, he'll put you to if, sleep so you never got to think like that again. If you put me to sleep, I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> when? Come on now. Exactly. <laughs> when? when are you going to fuck me? You sleep fucking? Listen, you just walking you... around your sleep, finding booty You don't holes? think I put you in a weird position, though? No. If you ready to knock this dude out and, and do like, if you knock me out, I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> it might make me pause serious. long enough. All you got to do is start getting naked. It might make huh? me pause long enough for, for, for you to like knock me out or for you to run away. Like if you said that to me as we square up, you if you're think? like, if you're like, all right, shit, yeah, yeah, hit me once, I'm gonna fuck you. If you said that, I'd be like, wait, what? What? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm like, huh? <laughs> what does that even mean? Keep that like, shit up. Keep you. that shit up. I'm gonna crack your cheeks. Because yeah, think no. about it. If, I, think about it. if I'm a guy, on? listen, if I'm a guy and I tell you if you if, if you knock me out, I'm gonna fuck you. So if you come out all aggressive trying to knock me out, you must want this dick. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> and then you got to lean into it. You, you, you got to be like, that. you got to be like, every time he pumps with a little jab, you be like, yeah, keep flirting. Yeah, keep you want flirting, this. Yeah, bro. you want it. Oh, I know you oh, wanted it. I see it. you. <laughs> I see what you're <laughs> you <know>. doing. <laughs> buttering me up. You Why buttering me up that? over here. After, yes. This, oh, it's foreplay. Because for, after a while, this dude that's hitting on you is like, yo, what's up with this dude? Yo, <laughs> that's a weird you. guy, bro. You got to be like nah. Rocky. What do you think Rocky kept telling Mr. T? What you he ain't say? bad. You ain't bad. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. By the way, Rocky ruined boxing. If y'all want to talk about what ruined boxing. If you nah. ever want to see some fights that ain't had no motherfucking defense, nobody fought like that, yo. Nah, no Ever. Way. You'll get yeah. knocked out. What type of jaw he got? Well, he, is he Mexican? Mexican got some strong He's jaw. Italian, bro. He's Italian, bro. Italian, exactly. stallion. <laughs> and he, uh, you ain't bad. You ain't bad. You got to talk to these guys the same way Rocky used to be talking to these dudes, man. Yeah. You knock me out, I'm going to fuck you. You hit Yo. me. Bam. Oh, you yeah. want this dick. I knew you wanted it. I knew you wanted it. Yeah. You, Rocky, huh? <laughs> why do you think he's like Rocky talked like that? He did. That's mm. how Rocky spoke. You don't remember when he said that shit? I never. <laughs> Adrian. I only I remember when Rocky movie is Adrian, bro. And him running up the stairs. Yeah, he was calling for Adrian. Noticed that his girl had a male name? Adrian is mm. a girl name. Don't do that. Adrian Broner? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. one guy, but nope. a lot of girls' names are Adrian. Nope. And the movie her name was Adrian bro. Bonham. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Rocky might be on to something. Rocky <laughs> might be on to something. He might have gotten off. He might he might have gotten <laughs> off on the hits. Rocky bro. was absolutely a masochist. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. He was absolutely a masochist. The more pain you administered to him, the more he liked it and the more he excited he got. Rocky Balboa was a masochist. I remember the Oh snow. my god, bro. Remember when uh, his coach cut his fucking eye open and then he started fighting well? <laughs> yes, man. Cuz he couldn't he see. He loves the pain. No, Rocky he loves likes the pain, pain, bro. bro. Rocky By the way, loved it. And his coach, it, he would give his coach a goddamn aneurysm. Coach said, like, move your head, Rock. Move your head. He's like, no, this is why I like it. I like it in my not head. Not only did Rocky like physical pain, he liked emotional and mental pain. Because mm. anytime Rocky was traumatized, he became a better individual. He went in the freezer and, and seen blood when he was hitting the meat. Huh? When he was hitting the meat. Yo, why do you the, think he was hitting the meat, though? <laughs> to see the blood come out. Nah, bro. He like he like beating that meat, bro. Why? <laughs> Yo, wax, wax. There's a lot of sexual innuendo in Rocky, dog. It's just a scene I see what where he's, he's beating he his meat. meat freezer and went to beat the meat. 
I know, like, he had access to a full boxing gym with all the equipment that he needed, he but no, beat <laughs> he wanted to go beat that meat, and he wasn't beating his meat, he was beating other people's meat. <laughs> a lot of meat, that's a big Bro, meat, too. No, seriously, I'm think about like, it. When you think about Rocky, it re trauma is what fueled Rocky, literally, because when Mickey died, that trauma of Mickey dying, yeah. He lost the first fight, but then it made him a better fighter, right? Like, oh, shit, I got to do this for uh, Mickey. <laughs> when Apollo died, trauma. Mm -hmm. He went and go fought the motherfucking Russian. Yeah. When he went broke, you know what I mean? His ego was crushed over... Uh, the little young guy. Tommy Morrison. You know what I mean? Trauma. He was broke. Ego was broken. Trauma is what made uh, Rocky who he was. And his girl name is Adrian. I don't know what that I has to do either, with it, bro. <laughs> I don't either, bro. Wax, wax. Where are you going with that? You just, you just want us to, he to said know you were still here. I went with my girl named Adrian. Huh? <laughs> All right, yeah, won. What's up? <laughs> Why wouldn't you want your girl name to be Adrian? I don't know. This girl name is Adrian. Wax is like one of those like, like, <laughs> like prehistoric like homophobia. Type guys, How? you know what, what I'm do saying? You mean? How is that pretty like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, you want some water? Why are you offering me water, yo? Nah, I, I, I heard Wax doesn't even eat Charleston chews. He think that there's two. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yo, listen. All that I don't do is use pla uh, uh, silverware because of things I used to do. Other than that, I don't give a fuck about no other gay shit. I just but, don't. but once again, think about that. If you taking silverware and rubbing it on your genitals. And rubbing the butter knife in your ass. Never happened. And then, the knife and, then, never happened. and then serving it at a restaurant. So other dudes is using the butter knife, using I can't the forks. I even did that dumb shit. All these men know how your, your, your dick tastes, right? They basically <laughs> ate your ass. You had they guys your eat your Word ass. Up. Word you up. had they guys eat your ass. ass. And that wasn't on the menu. And, listen, and I only did that because my mom made me work there. And I had to work in, back in, a, in a kitchen. And I had to sit there and wash dishes. Well, that's a traumatic thing to go through. I was through. trying to get... That's super yeah, I was traumatic. Trying to, get fired. to have your mom, you know, so force other men know. to eat your ass when you, at a young, impressionable age. That's, wild, no, for real, that's, that's wild, a traumatic that's thing, bro. That's, that's wild. That's I wild. never did that's that. Wild. I'm telling you. That's why I want Wax to go to therapy so bad. You man, need to go to just, therapy, Wax. He does, man. It's just so from being molested to you know the stuff with the knife and all that. Like, it come was on, never with bro. the knife. I never used a knife. It's only spoons. you had I knives in your butt, bro. Spoon? Let's just talk about it. Let's talk about what it is. You had knives in your colon. No, it wasn't knives. He's just corrected us. It was spoons. Only a spoon. You can't eat ass. With, you can't eat ass with a knife. Come on. You can yeah, only spread right. ass with a butter knife. You're right. You know what you're I mean. Right, you spread ass that. with a butter knife. You eat it with a spoon. Yo, I was only there for like a week and a half. How many guys ate your ass indirectly <laughs> in a week and a half? Was it a busy restaurant? Was it a diner? It was a diner in Jersey, right? It was a diner. Oh had, yeah, yeah, had, yeah. I had yeah, to yeah, work yeah, there. Yeah. I had to be at, and the only job that had to sweep floors and do dishes. I'm like, yo, come on, man. Huh? And I tried to get fired. I tried to do a That's bunch of stuff. I was dropping part. food. I was like a bunch oh, of stuff. I was say that's where you go to to get fired. You just go straight to rubbing it on your ass. No, I mean, I, I, day three or four, I was like, I gotta do something. I just seen some forks and stuff. I come right out the thing, put on my balls, and just somebody saw in you front do of it. People? No, I didn't. I didn't get fired for that either. I just stopped coming. Why would you get fired for something <laughs> that nobody saw, Wax? No, I just wanted to, I just wanted to get out of there. It, it's really it's bad almost, for me at that time. I had to get a job. It's almost as if you did that in private because it's something you wanted to do for <laughs> you. Ball, yeah, that just sound like some type of weird fetish, yo. You take yeah, a fork like, and just jiggle your balls, like, bro. Like, you, why are you doing it. this to your dick? Like, you cooking crack? Like, you just. I, I, just, like, I really the can fuck? tell you. You whipping your dick? You whipping your balls, bro. You want to slurp dick yeah. like cereal, bro. I can't That's even what tell you it why is. That was some really stupid shit. Oh, you, shit. you was whipping your balls. That's like sack of die. Like, you could have did Jeezy shit over it. It's sack of die. Nigga, like, you just whipping your balls with the fork. If I really need therapy, that's probably why. Because I, I did that shit to myself. Like, I fucked myself up. I would not go anywhere and eat fucking silverware because I did that dumb shit. So I fucking trauma myself, man. You did. You traumatized yourself. I did. We got to get a therapist on the podcast for. Wax, I think we man. do have to have a therapist sit down with Wax. Just, just, just for that right there. Anything else? I'm, I'm kind of good at. I don't smoke weed on Sunday. And yeah. I don't, I don't eat silverware. That's it. And look, now he pushing legal weed. Amen. Still trying to get men to taste him. Is he named the weed after himself? He named the weed after himself. It's called Who's Wax. And it, it beats yo. The crazy part is what I love. I love hearing Wax 
sell his products because he'd be like, yo, you need to taste this wax. You know what I'm saying? It, I and this wax. Old girl <laughs> earlier, and I kind of like, damn, I'm a fiance nah, now. Bro. I'm going to get in trouble. Nah, I, seen him, I ain't seen him say it to no girls yet. I be seeing him say it to dudes all the time. Like, yo, you <laughs> yeah, want right. to taste this wax? Yo, this wax is good, yo. You know what I mean? So, yo, hit that wax. You know what I'm saying? I'm wax. telling you, that wax will change your life. Basically, mm -hmm. there are men in this country that are not only putting wax in their mouth, they're also putting in their throat. Is that true? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. And loving it. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? Loving it. And wax. I mean, weed is an aphrodisiac in a lot of ways. Oh, y'all yeah. make weed feel like be this kind of crazy? It's no, out of for real. You sitting? Imagine being a guy sitting around smoking wax, and you, you know, you start thinking about shit, and you dick get hard, and you be like, "Yo, this wax, yo, this." Swax got me feeling right. So I wonder how many fucking uh, people <laughs> I smoked before. What you mean? I hope it's all girls who made my plants. Because I don't want to smoke nobody else. I don't want to smoke a guy. It's not called, you, you named it Who's Wax. I don't even know that nigga. Yeah, shit. <laughs> plenty of guys. Trust me, if somebody sitting who around, that nigga? somebody sitting around smoking that shit right now, like I need to know who this wax is, yo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Who is wax? Well, <laughs> you know if you get a spoon, you might get a little closer. <laughs> nah, it's a four. It's a four, it's a bro. Four, man, I put a couple of spoons on my balls. I wasn't there that long, and I didn't do it every single day. I was just like on some bored shit. I back there had to do mad dishes, and I'm oh. like. That's There's no way I could do all these fucking dishes. So I, I just start putting all of them into the trays, and I was like, "Fuck it." A couple of them getting on my balls, man. Just because I wanted to leave. It was really stupid, and I traumatized now, myself. Now, and I'm getting punished for see, it. See, right none now. of this makes sense. You remember on training day when the guy was trying to get out of his case, and so the guy reached in his pants in front of the whole courtroom, pulled out peanut butter, and licked his fingers. This story would make total sense if people actually saw you putting the utensils on your balls. Being that nobody <laughs> saw you, you was doing that for your own pleasure, bro. You was no, doing that for your own freaky recreational ah, purposes. Listen, I used to I, I used to give people gum in school. I used to put like gum on my balls and be like, I used to go, I, all the dudes be in the back there smoking. And I'd be like, yo, come on, the principal coming, the principal gonna put some gum in your mouth and give it to him for no fucking reason. I'm gonna say the obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Can I state the obvious? Wax has a thing with guys indirectly tasting no, his balls, no, bro. It no, it's not. It's something about that that, that turns you on, bro. It. No, it's not. I've never done that. <laughs> I hope nobody else did that dumb shit. We all did that. Who's all? I hope nobody. Me and my boys did that dumb shit. Like, we should probably wipe on the floor just for dumb, stupid ass shit. We thought that was pranks. I think you and your boy should have just kissed. No, it ain't. <laughs> I think that y'all. You know what fucked me up? What's that shit called? Uh, what's some dudes used to hit each other in the balls and the prank guys? And white boys used to be wild out. Jackass. Jackass fucked me up, man. We, me and my boys used to always try to prank people. We used to sit in front of people's house like 3 o'clock in the morning and call their house phone. Don't blame it on the white guys. And whatever, whatever you know, whatever <laughs> sexual desires y'all had. That was no sexual don't desires. Don't blame it on jackass. That was all black ass going on in goddamn <laughs> Linden, New Jersey. Okay? That's what yeah, that was. We used to sit in front of people's house and be like, and call the house phone because nobody nobody has cell phones. And we used to be like, your house on fire, your house on fire. Just and to see him run out naked. Just to see some, no, not naked, you know it's man. the middle of the night, he probably got on just boxes. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is wild, yo. Like, this is why you got, this is why we have to be LGBTQ friendly. Because yep. people cannot be afraid to be themselves. All I'm there hearing is go, a lot man. of suppression. That's what I hear, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. No, for real, Nobody man. Nobody came out naked. Why are you going to run out naked, man? <laughs> Everything you're saying sounds like you Who just want to see like cheeks. That? Man, no, man. There's Yo, a bunch of people came you out. You have to admit, Wax, if you heard another guy saying all this stuff, you too would probably feel like... <laughs> what, 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 what was the worst you, thing I said? No, what what you have been saying for the last half hour is basically you want ways where guys can consume Taste your, your balls. genitals. Yeah. It wasn't guys like that. You <laughs> said it. You said, listen. We didn't make. It's we didn't put up. Listen, any words in so your mouth. So bad, bro. Yeah. I feel so bad because I don't know who t who had that spoon. So it's like, yo, forget the spoon. You said you used to rub gum on your balls <laughs> and then run to find dudes. To it chew wasn't trying to find dudes. It's people who were smoking. It could have been anybody smoking. You see what I'm saying? If you smoke it, you know you're not supposed to be smoking in fucking school. So I'm like, yo, the principal come and put this in your mouth so he can fucking. <laughs> I think I think Wax is missing the point. You rubbed the gum on your balls and then went to find dudes to chew the yeah, gum. It wasn't, I you could have find put dudes the gum. If anybody was smoking. Bro, Wax. if you wanted your balls chewed on, you should have just said something. <laughs> you could have you could have said this. something to the guys. Oh A lot of those gosh. guys that you play football with probably already <laughs> wanted to do it anyway. Uh, they were just waiting, like, oh shit, wow, finally, wow. Well, I'm sorry for having y'all do that. 
Well, that don't be sorry. Bad. How do you Hopefully know that they didn't one. know exactly what was going on? Like, <laughs> very true. They was probably taking very advantage very of you. True. They're just hanging around, like pretending to smoke. Going, I think Wax is gonna have some gum on him today. Here come Wax with the Hubba Bubba. Yeah. That might have been your nickname around. <laughs> some of those guys. Uh, they might have called you Hubba Bubba. <laughs> They'd be like, here come Hubba Bubba. Oh, dude, this story's gotten complete, completely flipped, bro. No, this is completely like flipped. That. They would take advantage of you. No. They're like, I want to do some balls today. Where's this? I, I say, I say the Where's pranks kind of went too far. The pranks definitely went too far. They I were know pranking y'all had some you. crazy ass pranks, too. No, not like they that. They were pranking on, you, man. Wax, this whole time. They were pranking you, man. That's right. They knew exactly what was going on. They, they when Hubba Bubba come around, mm-hmm. yo, Hubba Bubba passing out that gum you that smells like his they balls all, again. And I, they all <laughs> <laughs> they lining up. They lining up. They to get some of that at the same Hubba time Bubba. too. They was, we know exactly where to go. Yeah, you they were exactly. waiting for you, bro. Waiting on you. And they would wait for you to go up the stairs so it's nice and sweaty. They want you to work up a little lather. <laughs> they want a nice little lather so they can get all oh, that flavor man. for themselves, bro. Probably was guys waiting around after football practice like, man, I hope Wax Show oh, got some of that up. gum. It, wasn't, it was just people. I don't even know who the fuck they was. It was fucked up. I was young, dumb, and retarded. Pulling up with that goddamn Wrigley's Believe It or Not. <laughs> no, it, 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 <laughs> It was the green pack. What's the green pack? Wrigley's. No, no. Oh, no, the, Spearmint. No, it was Wrigley's. The green and white pack? I used to always get the green one. Yeah, I that think was Wrigley's. Wrigley's. That come in the aluminum bro. foil. Yeah, I thought it was called Life. Nah, oh, bro. Nah. I, 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 I don't know, man. <laughs> Jersey This gone. is just, I just want everybody to be free to be themselves. Yeah, dude. Okay. Like, if you want, if you want oh, your sorry. balls in a guy's mouth, <laughs> that's fucked up, man. Yeah, that wasn't cool, man. That doesn't make you gay, y'all. bro. That doesn't make you gay. You're just a chef. Like, there's a lot of different people. <laughs> listen, listen. Yo. There's a lot. There's a lot of people out there that they want to put their creations in people's mouths, and that's who all you are. You're a fucking sushi chef, dude. And you're the best piece of meat that you got is your own. So you're finding ways where people can taste your meat. Yeah, you're giving man, them a want, shot. Uh, that, there's something there. Like you wanted to really go into the culinary arts instead of football, but it was something that kept, that held you back. You yeah, know what that, I'm saying? that that side type of gum I never even um, ate it. Oh, and big red. We used to always eat the big red gum too. So big yeah. red, I never touch ever, and and silverware, I won't ever touch that shit. Yo, what if he had a light skinned dude his size, and that used to do the same exact thing Wax did with big rub red. the gum on his balls? You want to taste some of this big red? <laughs> It's like, what's up, this guy? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> this is sad, man. This is sad. And I'm telling you, this is how people come back to haunt you. Yeah. Because yeah. it's going to be about four or five guys that Wax went to school with <laughs> who men to Wax and say Wax indirectly <laughs> made them <laughs> lick his balls nah. and eat his ass. Come on, Yo, stop. Wow. It, it was nothing with the ass. And I already apologized. And back then I had to... Um, I was going through something, you know, the, the mental there health. There you go. Now, shit. see, there you go. Yeah. Now we getting to the root of this shit. You got to be something wrong with you. You over here doing that dumb shit. There's trauma. There's a lot of trauma Wax went through, I man. I just wanted the people, it was really, I was wanting people, I just wanted to laugh. At the end of the day, it was just funny. Yeah, but you wanted to laugh because you was uh, trying to laugh to hide the pain. There was some pain going on. This shit ain't normal, bro. It's not normal. I'm sure other people did a lot of dumb ass shit, but that was like stupid as hell. Speaking of um, men touching you know, other men's penises. Did you hear about the rapper, the Spanish rapper, who convinced his friend, who's a school teacher, by the way, an Oxford educated school teacher, told him he'd pay him $3,000. That would be the maximum amount, depending on how much YouTube views they got. Mm-hmm. If they did a social media stunt. Now, the teacher, three stacks. the mm. teacher w- wasn't sure he wanted to be a man. Right? He was like, I don't think I want to be a man. I want to be a woman. <laughs> he let his boy, who's the rapper, do a homemade surgical reassignment surgery on him on YouTube. What? So this rapper takes a 12-inch knife, cuts off his friend's penis. So you say his friends. 
They are friends. They did it on purpose. They had a plan together. He was trying to help his Spanish rapping friend go viral, and he didn't know if he wanted to be a guy anymore. They literally did it all for social media attention. <laughs> well, yeah, because I ain't got no friends I want to cut Hold on. Off. What, what is this? Holy shit. When, when you don't think they go any further. Damn. All for social media fucking attention. Nothing more, nothing less. The guy still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Where he peeing at? His pee probably backed up. <laughs> Yo, that is a good point. Where do they pee? Where you pee at? What do you mean? The pee still gonna come out whether you got the penis or not. It's the hole still there. That must look. Twelve crazy. inch kitchen knife. Cut off his friend's penis. A Spanish rapper. All because he just wanted to go viral because he wanted social media fucking attention. Now. If, if the Spanish rapper had did that to his homeboy who's not so bright, if he had did that to his homeboy who, you know, probably does a lot of drugs and don't know no better, but the fact he did that to his homeboy who's an Oxford educated teacher and the fact the teacher went mm. along with this shit. That's the problem. He's a teacher. Come on, he man. He goes in the streets. A dude in the streets know not to get his penis cut off. The Oxford guy who read books all day ain't getting no pussy, so he's like, I don't need this shit. I don't think you have to be in the streets to know your penis shouldn't be cut off. I guess so. I mean, that is absolutely mind-boggling. Yeah, but that's the world that we live in. I'm saying all that to say, these are the people that folks seek validation from on social media. Like, you have people who wake up every day and they go on social media and let social media think for them. So it might be a topic, right? But instead of formulating their own opinion on the topic, they go and they see what the popular opinion is and they let that popular opinion dictate what it is they think about a situation. Yeah. These are the people. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. these are the people on social media you're letting formulate your opinions these individuals but what, what if he took the COVID the COVID vaccine and now he just did this like fucked his ass up somebody should see if this guy who got his penis taken off you should see if he took the COVID vaccine so listen right <laughs> this guy right? hold on I gotta For pee bro. That, I gotta that pee. shit gets <laughs> fucking him up I gotta, I, I, you gotta pee after a story like that Hold on. Matter of fact, he tried to see if his shit there. Let's pay some bills. Give me the ad. All right, let's power this. Let's power this down and pay some bills, okay? Uh, Blue Chew, <laughs> right? This episode is sponsored by by Blue Chew. Say it with us, Blue Chew. Okay, Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and have longer lasting erections. Okay, Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of erectile dysfunction. Okay, Blue Chew is an online prescription service. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and scrimp for your prescription. Don't like swallowing pills? No problems here. Blue Chew's Sildenafil. And Tadalafil tablets are chewable. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct so it's cheaper than a pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast okay today's show is also brought to you by hello fresh this week's episode is brought to you by hello fresh okay with hello fresh you get fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door hello fresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. There's something for everyone, including weekly low-calorie, vegetarian, and family-friendly recipes. HelloFresh delivers fresh, high-quality, pre-portioned ingredients so you can make meals that are delicious and nutritious. The packaging... 
HelloFresh uses to ship your food is made almost entirely from recyclable and already recycled content. Okay, you can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. All right, now more than ever. HelloFresh is committed to making sure that fresh, delicious food is available. As part of this mission, they've taken extra steps to keep their employees and customers safe, including no contact delivery, tamper-proof packaging, and team member wellness checks, okay? HelloFresh has already donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020, and now they're stepping up food donations to local communities amid the food insecurity crisis and pandemic, all right? HelloFresh.com slash Idiots12. If you use that right now, Idiots12, you'll get 12 free meals, including free shipping. That's code Idiots12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. With your first order from HelloFresh.com, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Now let's get back to the show. You got any church announcements, Schultz? Yeah. Um, we're going on tour, man. And I uh, just want to say thank you for selling out most of the shows. I think we only have... Dope couple cities left that haven't sold out yet but uh i'll be in uh, salt lake city this weekend that's sold out then we got columbus sold out nashville sold out atlanta sold out raleigh sold out uh palm beach there's a few tickets left <clears throat> phoenix arizona a few tickets left and then tampa bay a few tickets left and then um we're gonna be announcing more cities later maybe in the next couple weeks but thank you guys so much man this has been just been awesome and it's so much fun to get back out there and do stand up again bro i just it was you know a, what's so interesting so man fun, um you know i watched uh i'm i'm watching everything i guess get i don't want to say normal cuz what the fuck is normal yeah. right but you know you got the vaccine out there yeah. and you know people are getting the vaccine and they're saying by june we might be on the other side of this thing okay, okay. but it's just interesting to see people get back to normal and i'm wondering if florida and georgia were the guinea pigs Definitely was. Texas too. Texas too. I mean, Texas, but Texas is the first people to announce because contrary to popular belief, Georgia and Florida still supposed to be in like stage yeah. two of this yeah, Georgia. Of, Bro, of phase two of this Florida, reopening shit. Florida and Texas weren't the guinea pigs. They were the leaders. The rest of the states are seeing the, all their people leave. leave Georgia is uh, really out of control though. At least like, I'm, I'm, I'm in Florida and it's like, yeah, you got some things in downtown is like, you know, they go to their spots. But Florida, I mean, Georgia's out of control. Atlanta's out of control. You can't tell me that Atlanta's worse than Miami. Yes. Now, nah, Atlanta's been on yes. the low because we think Florida's always Miami so crazy. Miami still was shut down. Miami wide open right now. Yo, Miami's right now, been wide open. Miami, it wasn't. Miami had a, Miami had a fight this weekend with 15,000 people. The Damn NBA not right. even doing that shit. Damn <laughs> right. What, what Atlanta about to do this weekend? The uh, All-Star game with no, with no fans. Soft. See how many people that go there? I know a lot of people going. Pussy. What? Have the all-star game with no fans. They what? shouldn't even be having the game. They're going to be Yo, in the streets, They shouldn't though. have. I went to a Miami Heat game when there was only like 10% of the people in the stands. That shit was so fucking dumb. It's absolutely idiotic. They got to cut down, <laughs> shut down every single game until you can bring all the people back in. It's really not worth it. I actually respect the fact that players can go out there and really just focus, but I guess they've been like that because it's not like they're focusing on fans anyway when they're yeah. playing. You know what I mean? It's a part yeah. of it, though. They're not stand-up the comics, bro. It's not like they need the audience. If anything, it's the audience It's not like they need the audience. Hard. No. You want the audience. That's true. Listen, my church announcements are simple. Uh, salute to everybody that's listening to all the various podcasts on the Black Effect uh, Podcast Network, and uh, make sure you pre-order Tamika Mallory's book, State of Emergency, uh, how to Win in the Country We Built. It'll be out May 11th on Black Privilege, Simon & Schuster Publishing. And make sure you pick up Anita Kopak's Shallow Waters, okay, uh, which will be out August 3rd via Black Privilege, uh, Simon & Schuster Publishing. You know, Anita had hit um, number one on the uh, Amazon adult, I think it's young young adult fiction fantasy, fantasy, uh, fantasy charts. Because, you know, uh, young adult fiction fantasy is a big genre that, you know, a lot of black people don't tap into. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the fact that Anita, you know, Kopax is tapping into it with Shallow Waters and presenting this story of the African mermaid, Yimiya, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a pretty big deal. So, yeah, go pre-order those books um, available wherever you buy books. OK, Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, all that good stuff. And I'm going to tell you something, man. This is my this is my only problem with America. We know America's a business. 
Mm-hmm. Simple. We know that. Sure. America is a motherfucking business. It's not a goddamn country. That shit shouldn't even say we the people. It should say money we the paper. Yeah, money you know, and violence. We the fucking paper. You know what I mean? That shit should be freedom, justice, liberty for all you motherfuckers with money. The rest of y'all just figure it out. But <laughs> yeah. Texas and Mississippi is so blatant with that shit. And, and it's just like you can't even be mad because they like look the economy is suffering people need to open their businesses we need to get back to the money then you got the, the director of the cdc saying like no let's not tell people to not wear a mask even if you want to yeah. reopen the businesses and stuff like that still it's tell safe. people it's to safe. social distance yada, yada, yada. but that's because she cares about actual health Mm-hmm. And she cares about people getting sick and she cares about people dying. Them fucking governors, the governor of Mississippi and the governor of Texas, dollar, dollar bills, y'all. That's, <laughs> which yo, makes, that's her job. Her job is to care about the people dying. His job is to care, is to about, care the about the economy. So but I'm going to tell you why. Make, I, but you know why it makes no sense, Schultz? Why? We say cash rules everything around me. When the reality is, it's the consumers that rule everything around me. Because the consumers have the cash. Yeah. If everybody dead, how am I going to give you these dead presidents? Everybody not going to die. A lot of them will. I mean, of just, course, everybody's not going to die. Just the people that don't buy that much shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Trust me, if 70-year-olds or 80-year-olds and 90-year-olds were buying all the shit, we'd definitely be a little bit more cautious with reopening the country. <laughs> But that 18 to they're not, 40 demographic. They're not the ones with the disposable income. <laughs> I'm saying they That's could dispose up. of Corona. Yeah. Like old people don't have disposable income. They just disposable. They disposable. That's fucked up. No, they order a lot. Nah, tell them stay inside. Nah, that's fucked up. I get what you're saying though, but it's just it's like let's not let's not be so blatant about it. Can we can we at least can we I miss when politicians at least fronted like they gave a fuck about people. I love that motherfucker. I love that guy. That guy's brilliant. Which one? (laughs) Yo, Wheels, bro. That's what they call him. Who? Who is Wheels? The governor of Texas. He's in a wheelchair. They call him Wheels. No, he's in a wheelchair? Yeah. I didn't know he was in a wheelchair. You thought he was always just sitting down during his press conference? I never paid it no attention. Yeah, Wheels, bro. Wheels don't play games, bro. Wow. Watch. You're going to see. He's going to roll for president. (laughs) He's going to roll for president. (laughs) (laughs) He rolled to the polls. I had no idea he was in a goddamn wheelchair. Like, oh, yes. he gonna win everything. He getting pity for everything. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like the way he rolls, man. I don't like the fact that he motherfucking reopened the country. I love 100%. it. I don't like right. that shit. Yo. Sometimes you yeah. gotta roll the dice, bro. That's what this shit is yeah. about. Yeah, but you know, man, you can't, you can't, you can't roll the dice on people's lives, bro. You, you know doing listen, it by listen, keeping listen. the restaurants closed. You doing it by keeping all the businesses closed. Like uh-huh. old people that are retired can stay inside way easier than young people who have a business or yeah. young people that need to go to work. Like we're, it's it's so much easier to quarantine and then vaccinate the old people in society than it is to shut down all of society, make them yeah. lose their businesses, make them lose their jobs, make them lose whatever the fuck they're working on. Old people are going to be at home anyway. They old. Yeah. Or yeah. I hop. Either one. Listen, I, I you know I know everybody in life has a role to play, but mm-hmm. I don't like the role that the governor of Texas pl- is playing right now, bro. You know what I mean? Because that's really like on some villainous shit. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like well, everybody just, be like him. What do you mean? Because he fucked up, so he want anybody to be fucked up with him. Huh? You know how when people fucked up, it's like they don't care what happened to the other person because I'm I'm having a bad day. You think so? Of course. No, nah, I just think he gives a fuck about the economy. That's Listen, all. You got to get that economy. You got to get the economy not, rolling again. You're not going to care. Yeah, you got to get the economy rolling again. Look, you're not going to care about just one thing, right? There's a whole bunch of ingredients in this casserole that we call a country. <laughs> yeah, it's, definitely, it's definitely a casserole. It is. It it's is definitely a casserole, a casserole. right? Yeah. And, and we have to consider that the economy is one of those ingredients. That's yeah, just one yeah, of those yeah, things. Yeah. You got to be concerned about those people. Yeah. I just think there's other ways to get the economy rolling. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to motherfucking like... Just roll out a plan that's to reopen everything. You know what I mean? At a hundred motherfucking percent. Like, no, bro. But what do you want to do? You want to go through this whole rigmarole where we're wearing <laughs> masks and shit and we're locking down this and 25% that and 50% this? Like, what's the deal? I think, I'm not I'm not saying we gotta I'm not saying we gotta lock it down. Right. But I think we should treat it like parole. 
You know what I mean? Like there's there's stipulations. You know what I mean? There's stipulations. Yeah. There's still some rules you have to follow when you're on parole. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Night, you got to yeah, go in the house yeah. a certain time of day. That's all. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Like you don't have to be all party like a rock star. You know what I mean? Shit, shit don't always got to be fucking rock and roll all the goddamn time. It doesn't man. have to be rock and roll at the time, but the, the Rolling Stones are pretty old and they seem to be working out, right? They're supportive yeah, of it. True. I'm just trying. That's I'm just true. saying, like there, there are ways where you can continue to live life. We got the vaccine coming. Give the vaccine to all the old people, and then let yeah. the young people yeah. get that COVID. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least they work it. Maybe you should do a maybe. Maybe you should just do a roll call for all the young people that Y'all want the vaccine. So I think <laughs> roll call is a great idea. The roll call is definitely a great the idea. Roll call. Roll call is a really good idea. I think. I mean, personally, I think so. I think so. Listen, I, man. I, if uh-huh. if we can switch topics, I I I'm thinking about getting a Rolls Royce, bro. Uh, I, 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 I really I really might get it. I'm thinking about it, bro. I'm thinking about getting that Rolls Royce. Man, let me tell you something. There is this restaurant uh in the in the town I live in now, man, and it's they sell roasted chicken and these fucking garlic rolls. Oh my yeah. god. My <laughs> god. When oh I tell you these god. garlic rolls are so fucking incredible bro (laughs) oh my god last time i had garlic rolls bro it was so heavy i couldn't even walk afterwards Really? I couldn't. <laughs> really, I, really, I, really, really. I couldn't. Really. I couldn't even. Yeah. I couldn't even walk, bro. It was. Uh, I was just. You had to sit down. Like, completely <laughs> incapable of moving, bro. It was, it was nuts, dude. I cannot stand Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know God. what I love, man. I love watching basketball. I love when a team passes like ten times. Yeah. And then somebody just ends in a dunk. Yeah. <laughs> I just love it, man. I just love ball movement. Ball movement is so fucking good. Ball movement is it. good. Someone grab wax a spoon. I <laughs> <laughs> Oh I'm out of this. I'm out of this. Listen. Uh, thank um, God we moved on. I ran out of roll words, bro. I I, I, I was running low. Yeah, I was on a roll for real. I was about to do a little roll reversal. You know what I'm saying? And just fuck it. <laughs> So you had me with parole. Parole was good. Yeah, parole was good. <laughs> parole <laughs> was good. <laughs> Listen, uh, Will Smith considering running for political office. Wow. Oh wow. I don't want it. For what? I don't want it. Hey, people listen to him. No, I don't want it. I don't so want it. Not... No more celebrity and chiefs. No more none of that shit, but yo. If Jada didn't really fuck around on him. Even better, though. They, they more regular people than the regular them people. Yes, this regular people now. don't want to do it, but I think he ruined his chances by Jada fucking around on him, bro. Yeah, he did. You can't, you can't. It's hard, yeah, man. It's that's, hard, yo. Right? She fucked you, him up. You can't be a politician whose wife is fucking around on you. You got to be the politician fucking around on his wife. Yep. Now that we you talking. Can't wow, wow, man of the wow, people. wow. You ain't got no control over your house. Yeah. How you going to control a country that. you can't control that. house? Why you the window? No, I'm, no, I'm just saying that's what people would think. No, what are you talking no, about? No, you think that doesn't mean everyone else does. Well, that's what people would think. The reason why, then why, then why wouldn't they want to be him to uh, win then? Yeah, because why does she did it matter it. if she did? Then why? Why, why uh, they what now? All why I'm they saying they is, all I'm saying is, President of the United States is not a role I'd like to see Will Smith play. That, I, that's I all agree I'm with you wholeheartedly. I think he'd be cool. No, he won't, no. man. That, like, listen, everybody got to play their fucking role when it comes to being president, and everybody ain't built to be president. We learned that. The, 2016 to fucking 2020. Well, look, look, look at where the ball at. You got fucking President Trump up there. He brought that fucking ball too uh, too low now. Now anybody so, can do it's it. It's the bar. It's you bar. Would have not the ball. I know you're still thinking about putting that goddamn spoon <laughs> on this shit, but it's bar wax. It's lowered the bar. bar. Ball, he lowered the bar. No, he ball didn't. bounces so it can go higher and go low too. No, same no. thing. He lowered the bar. Okay, right. oh. and 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 by the way, that shouldn't be your 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 metric. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump in the fucking White House should not be what you determine whether or not you're going to run. I remember Obama and fucking Trump and Bush. I don't know nobody else. Well, you didn't pay attention in fucking So you didn't have Clinton? Oh, shit. He got head. (laughs) Clinton got head. I didn't know the fuck he was doing in there. Y'all didn't know either. Y'all was too young. Y'all know the fuck they was doing. Y'all, know the, don't, y'all, y'all never knew what the fucking president was doing until until Clinton got hit. And then everybody started paying attention to the fucking presidents. Why yeah, before fuck about that, that we didn't Why pay is, attention who, who, to presidents at all. I don't think anybody even knew we had a president before Clinton got his dick sucked. 
Thank you. That's right? not true. That's not. <laughs> well, I want to. I want to know who Wax thinks is on his money. I want to yeah. know whose grandpa Wax, wax thinks. <laughs> no. I want to know. I know. I want to know who the know. fuck Wax thinks is on his it, goddamn still, dollar bill. It, it was, wax I didn't like, give a fuck about the motherfuckers. I just knew it was the old president that was dead. Nah, you that's never it. thought it was presidents. You told me you thought that was the owner of the Jets. You said it was the owner of the, <laughs> the San Diego Padres. <laughs> nah, I, I knew it was dead presence because of dead presence, the movie, but I never even thought about it when I was young. I look at money as passes. It's just a pass to get through the next door. So you do you know, know more presidents than, than the ones you name. I still can't even tell you the fuck they are. And I look at the money. I don't know. Who's know on the hundred dollar bill? Because people say it. Huh? Who's on the hundred dollar bill? Um, Benjamin, right? Yep. I don't fucking know, right? It's you all about the Benjamins. It's because because of that fucking show. If that wasn't all about the Benjamins, that there was movie, no show. I would never even know that shit. Do you know what Benjamin Franklin did? I have no idea. <laughs> what, he did, what, what he do? The uh, microwave or something? Nah, he was the first person to work in the diner and rub um, spoons on his balls. <laughs> he should actually be a hero to you. He's your founding father. Actually, yeah, I, I, I promise you, I never even thought about that shit ever in my life. They, I never thought a president ever did anything for me. So it was like. All right, get the get enough passes to go through the next door to try to better yourself. Yo, homie, who's in here engineering for us today is so terrified right now. <laughs> like he's, all, he's he's over there like trying not to make eye contact with wax. Like he did once, I and then he turned his head so fast. I never gave a fuck about it. The first person I gave a fuck about was fucking Clinton because he gave head. And then George Bush, because he did the fucking um, Clinton towers. Clinton didn't give no I head. Know, he bro. didn't give head. He got head. He did the towers. <laughs> Obama <laughs> black. And Trump wild. Who did the towers? <laughs> Bush. What do you mean he this did is... them? You think he he brought them down? He was at that school for no reason, sitting at that little ass chair. He a president. How the fuck you at that little ass chair? He was doing a fucking NPR tiny desk performance, bro. That's why the desk was there. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I just see the little you ass chair. You gotta stop spreading this misinformation. Like, everybody right. knows. We all know why George Bush was at the school. He was performing. Mm. This is crazy. Yo, Wax, are you gonna get <laughs> vaccinated? Hell no! Oh, God. I ain't take the. I don't listen. I don't take the fucking flu shot. I ain't getting vaccinated. I'm trying to stay out the way. I'm okay. Listen, if everybody else get it. Why the fuck I need to get it? <laughs> Son, I y'all, said that y'all same safe, shit. right? I y'all said that safe. Same shit. I mean, I'm safe. I want everyone else to get it except me. And now we're good. Now yeah, we good. If your girl go to the fucking doctor and go get her shit straight, and she says she good, guess who else is good? Yeah. Yeah. Not. But not if you fucking around on her. I don't do that. You used to. That was back in the day. Wax has given many a woman a yeast infection. No, I did not. You crazy as hell. There's no way in hell. If you take a condom out of the ocean, which people, <laughs> yo, stop, which people, which people said we just... Baby, she's lying. Yo, somebody on, somebody on YouTube said, you know how you know these guys are wild? They just mentioned that shit and kept it moving. <laughs> like, it was, like, like, it was like any other podcast you listen to. If somebody says they pulled a condom out of the ocean and used it, that's the deep dive for out. It was like those guys just breezed by that, <laughs> like, like it was nothing. Man, nothing. Like, There's so much more like what happened. Shit. Man, um, nothing. I bet you uh, didn't even clean out the condom. I bet there was a fucking octopus in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing. Listen, did you hear about the uh, the guy who got killed by a cock? What? Man, kill you? What the? Fuck? You didn't hear about the guy who got killed by a cock? Like a like a rooster? Yeah. What you think I was thinking? It's talking about you, sick fuck. <laughs> I, I thought you were talking about a rooster. But wait, wait how did roosters kill? They, they, it was at a cock fight. Which, by the way. Chickens have been doing a lot lately. People ain't been paying attention. They've been having these motherfucking cockfights, and these chickens have been flipping out on the people at the fights, right. killing their owners and shit. But how'd they kill them? How'd you get eaten? Because they have the food. knife on the fucking yeah, foot. They got the knife on that. And shit. these chickens is jumping up. Like this guy, literally, I'm not even making this up. This guy got stabbed in the groin by the cock, so he bled to death. Another dude got Damn. his throat slit by the cock. What? Chickens are fed the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. The bird what? flu too, huh? What? They had the bird flu. Oh, chickens are fed the fuck up, bro. <laughs> what? That's all it boils down to. Chickens have had a fucking enough. Okay. Holy shit! So they're actually killing the owners that are forcing them to fight. Well, it's happened a few times. This one was the most recent one. That's wild. But now, this, it's, it's, hap- it's, hap- it's happened a few fucking times. You got to respect chicken, bro. Hundred you know percent. This is you like gotta the- be. Nat Turner of the poultry world, you know? I'm, the fact that we don't think chickens are communicating is crazy. Because think about it. If I'm a chicken 
and I'm about to get into a fight with another chick, and I'm gonna have a conversation with the other chicken and be like, bro, what are we doing? Yeah. We gonna kill each other and still end up dinner. Let's flip on these motherfuckers. Yeah. We're gonna get eaten regardless. We're gonna die regardless. Let's not kill each other. You don't think the chickens is act, you don't think the chickens is have, communicating with each other? No, nah, or, or, or he, might or he be, ran bro. in fear. Or he must have ran in fear. What he, you mean? He knew the other chicken was about to kick his ass. He probably went to his owner and tried to jump up on him and probably slice his neck. Maybe. His foot. Maybe. That so, could have that could have happened too. Where'd you yeah. get this story? Um, it was not well. I don't fucking know, man. I don't. I mean, who who ask about who where people get information nowadays? The fucking internet, like it it happens. But I'm, I just this story didn't come on my radar. What do you are you reading like a newspaper? Uh, I don't know why this came across. I don't know, man. People send me all types of shit. But you know, I do donkey of the day every day. Ah. Uh, so people send me this shit. They send me stupid ass stories. You know what I mean? Stories that you know when when they want me to give people the credit they deserve for being stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> And these are the best ones to me because these are the ones where there's so many lessons to be taught in this story. The number one lesson is respect everybody's life. It's bad enough that we already eating the chickens. There's no need to make the motherfucking chickens fight. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like ch treat the chickens well, feed them good. You know what I mean? So when you do eat them, their, their life meant something. Don't fucking this fight them and then send them to the 50. poultry farm. This guy's 50 years old. You wait till 50 years old to get yourself killed by a fucking chicken? Mm. Wax, you racing pit bulls. <laughs> I, I ain't dead. Well. But you fucked up too. You fucked up. You told your Achilles. Yeah, that's peace, but I, I could have been racing anybody. I just was happened to be a fucking dog. <laughs> um, can, we do, <clears throat> can we do some shit you won't care about next week? All right, let's stop and pay some bills, man. Cushy dreams, okay? 2020 was a rough year and a hard time to keep your head in a good place, okay? That's why our friends at Cushy Dreams have been able to help. Cushy Dreams specializes in high-quality smokable CBD, and CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, even pain relief, okay? Fighting inflammation and more. Cushy Dreams Extraordinary CBD Rich Hemp Flower comes in one eighth ounce cans and pre-rolled joints okay it is cannabis that ships discreetly to you directly to all 50 states they offer specific indigo and sativa strains that deliver desired effects okay relax create hustle peace energy and dream all right, Cushy Dreams has a great new flower that just arrived too. Thanks to a fresh harvest, they have ace of their best indoor indigas and sativas with their ultra premium line. As always, they have full grand pre-rolls. What's new is five packs of half grand pre-rolls. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD. Enjoy all of the health benefits of CBD without getting high. Contains under 0.3% THC. Go to CushyDreams.com, K-U-S-H-Y. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. Free shipping on orders over $20. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS for 20% off today. Cushy Dreams, smoke your CBD. Now let's get back to the show. Uh, let's do some um, shit you want to care about next week. I'm going to be on Bill Maher too on Friday, by the way. Hey. Yeah, so y'all check that out. I'm going to be on Bill Maher on Friday. All right, what we got? Shit you, don't, shit you want to care about Instagram next week. When they accidentally hid the likes yesterday. I don't even know what that means. I saw people saying that Instagram yes, accidentally yes. hit likes for more users. I don't. Why does that matter? People were that. saying like, "Oh, now the influencer is not going to make money." Blah, blah blah. But that's not true though, because influencers make money off their impressions. Like I'm that's what people what really care about. I know. I'm just saying what I saw. People were just oh. making a. I thought it was. I definitely thought it was because of numbers. No, nah, you go to your. I mean, that's numbers though. You go to your analytics, and your analytics it shows you. Oh, that's still I, gonna be there though. You could still. Yeah. Many, okay. You could still see how many people liked it. You could still see how many people it reached, how many impressions it got, unique views, and all that other stupid shit. These it's corporations fuck people, it's use. Fuck with people's brain though, because them girls actually, if they don't see them likes up there, they're gonna fuck with their brain. Well, that's the problem. I keep telling y'all, everybody's seeking validation from a bunch of motherfuckers that is out here cutting their goddamn friends' penises off just to get attention. <laughs> That says a lot about people, yo. I'm serious. Like, you're seeking validation from the wrong folks. And the sad part, the people you seeking validation from are seeking validation from other motherfuckers. Yeah, literally. So it's just a goddamn circle of validation seekers. You cannot live life like that. That shit is not fucking sustainable. It's At some healthy. point, you got to get off that motherfucking Ferris wheel and stand on your own shit. Eventually. Well, I don't like school. They're going to be standing on their own because they don't know what the fuck they're going to do. Does that shit bother you, Schultz, when you can't see your likes? No. Me neither. Yeah, I, I don't really care. 
And then um, again, maybe if I post some shit and I want to know how well it does, that would bother me. But I think you can also tell from comments. Oh, the comments ain't going. It's going to have. Yeah, the comments are the best part. Yeah. Yeah, so you could tell from there, and then people <clears throat> just gear it towards comments. But that's all it is. People feeling economic insecurity. They're like, "This is how I validate myself. How can I yes. prove to brands I'm I'm good without mm-hmm. these analytics?" And this is also Instagram going. Y'all not going to make money without us. That's all this yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instagram is Instagram is out here like, hold on. You influencer thoughts are making millions of dollars selling tea and we're getting zero dollars out of that? Fuck that shit. You're going to pay up. You want to know about your likes? You better pay, pay us a dollar a month or two dollars a month. Then we'll you give you gonna, access you, to the data. You That's know what's going to fuck shit up, though? What's going to fuck shit up is these platforms like um, Fanbase that my man Isaac Hayes has, OnlyFans, like all of these apps that are actually paying the influences to be on it, these people that can actually get money for this content that they're creating, mm-hmm. that shit gonna fuck the game up, yo. It's, yeah. go, it's only a matter of time before other social media sites gotta adopt that shit. Now, don't get me wrong, I know people use Twitter and Instagram and Facebook to promote those other platforms, yeah. but it's gonna come a point in time where they gonna have to do something to keep up. Likes ain't gonna be, especially if they're taking away the likes and shit like that. Likes ain't gonna be enough. Mm-hmm. Like, why am I on this platform? Why am I spending the majority of my time on Instagram if I got, you know, a half a million followers on OnlyFans and I'm getting motherfucking paid? I met a, uh, I was with Weezy yesterday and I met this woman named Bella Feet, Bella Features, and she makes like thousands of dollars on Instagram monthly showing her fucking feet. Yeah, I know people like that. So Hold on now. What 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 is her Instagram? <laughs> I don't know what her Instagram Your is. Your fiance now, you can't look. Her OnlyFans is Bella Features. It's just feet. Is it cheating if it's looking at feet? If you're interested in it. Really? Yeah. I don't even think feet are considered sexual. Like, what do you oh, do with feet? Teeth, titties, and toes. Oh, you do have a foot fetish. I love some feet, bro. You do? I do, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like sexually love? Like, it arouses you? No, I don't like fucking them. I just think it looks pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing it's, with it's like, like eyes. Like I like realms. a girl who has pretty eyes, but I don't want to fuck the eyes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to yeah, fuck yeah, the yeah. car, but it's like it got good rims on it. Make the whole car look better. You see what I'm saying? Like good feet make the whole girl look better. Yeah, she that's actually. Face. She's so beautiful in the that, face. That's actually and she the, got some straight dogs in her feet. You be like, uh, um. Yeah, it takes Wax a while to get there, but he'll eventually say something that back. makes sense. I got your back. Bella feet. You see her? I'm looking for it. Did you Google her? Bella's Feet Diary? That Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, I'm on it. Yeah, she got some nice steppers. Really? What do you look for in nice feet? I mean, I, there is a little concern I have here that she has second toe longer, but she has got a <laughs> nice toe length. Um, I don't like second toe longer, and it looks like it might be, but she's hiding it well. Um, the nail is nicely shaped. Here got a go. good shape to the nail. Good color <sighs> choice for the nail. A nice arch to the foot. Yeah, she's got a decent set of feet right here. I don't ah. know what y'all see in them, bro. Actually, second and third toe are equi- equally as long as the first and potentially could be longer, so I have an issue. We're going to have to give some pushback here. Yeah, I retract earlier statement. Second and third toe, too long. Sorry. Yeah. Nice arch. I can't look at them. I'm good. Nice arch. Nice arch. Yeah, we're looking at something pretty decent over here, dude. You know, okay. um, yeah, yeah, pretty decent, pretty decent. I can't, I didn't know, I didn't know people give a fuck about feet like that. Yeah. I don't mean, I don't want feet to be tore up. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I didn't know that people like, they, I mean, there is something like when you're making love to your woman, you know what I'm saying? And you look back and you see some nice feet up see, in the air. On, you know what I mean? That's sexy. You see some dogs, you guys see a fucking thing and some... Ah, especially the bottom of the foot. That shit all fucked up and sandy. You know what's fucked up? Let me, you, let, me, let me tell you what's fucked up. I looked down at my phone, right, as we're talking about this, and I just thought about some of the worst feet I've ever seen. And look what somebody I, I, texted I already, me. I already, I already know who it is. Out. Somebody just randomly texted me that. What? <laughs> it's like, yo, what the fuck? Okay, what's, what else? Shit you won't care about next week. Um, Big Sean contemplating suicide. Oh, yeah, I love it. I mean, listen, I, I love the fact that, you know, Big Sean is talking about that, you know, and I salute Big Sean because Big Sean has been a, a brother who's been on the front lines, you know, speaking out about his his issues with, you know, mental health. 
You know what I mean? And like he's a brother that has gone out there to, to, to get help. You know, he goes to therapy. He, he practices mindfulness. And yeah. I just, you know, I think we got to keep having more conversations like that. Everybody yeah, goes easy, through, brother. you know, emotional highs, emotional lows, mental highs, mental lows. You got to do what you got to do, you yeah. know, to keep your mental in check. That's why, that's why, like, it's good to even hear Wax talk about his past trauma. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. I started going to therapy though. I went to therapy a couple of times. What? Yeah, I mean, I went to Carla. We went to a couple's therapy, but it helped me out. What'd you learn about yourself? Um, that just shut up and listen, <laughs> and everything would be okay. That's what I got out of it. Shut up and listen to who though? My girl. True. I mean, when you got a good girl, when you got somebody yeah. that's, that that that's leading you the right way. Yeah, just shut up and listen and see what's up. And then if anything go wrong, blame it all on her. So that's what I I'm not therapy. mad at that. Nice. Yeah. I don't know how healthy that is though, because you don't want to be dependent. Like you still have to find. No, of course, I got I got the base. You know what I'm saying? Like the man get the house and the woman do the inside. That's just, yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. basically with the same thing with the relationship. Yeah. Because I mean, if things don't work out, you still got to be able to maintain on your own. Yeah, yeah. I mean, certain things I, I'm never going to do. I'm not gonna wash my clothes and, and feed myself ever. But why uh, do you feel that way again? Feel what way? That you're not gonna do that. Because I I, I was brought up not doing that. Um, my mind goes crazy if I do it. I just, I never had anxiety in my life, but when I had to wash dishes, I think about putting spoons on my balls. But don't you like clean? <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm just no, telling you, real, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it that bad. I'm like, right. I need to do something to these fucking forks and these spoons because I do not want to fucking do this shit. Did somebody do that to you when you was a kid? No. Listen, I, I grew up with 12 <laughs> brothers and sisters and when, imagine have to clean a fucking, when it's your, um, your dishes day, Imagine you have to clean all this fucking shit. And you the only person that got to do it. Ain't no way. I got traumatized from washing dishes. And then next thing you know, my mom was like, I got a job for you. And I had to go into the back, back of the fucking diner and fucking wash dishes and shit. I'm like, man, ain't no way. I don't, but don't you like clean stuff? Aren't you OCD? Why did that make you want to play with yourself? That. I, that's why as soon as, I, as soon as I'm there, I cleaned up right now. It, I yeah, don't so play on myself. <laughs> <laughs> you did play with yourself. It's not playing with yourself. Yes, boom, it boom. Is. It's like, and then keep putting it up. Bro, if jiggling your balls with a spoon ain't playing with yourself, I don't know what playing with yourself is. So you're so you telling me if you wipe off, you go like this and you're at the bathroom, you got to shake off. That's playing with yourself? That's not what you did. You went and got a spoon <laughs> or a fork or something and started treating your dick like a bowl of Fruit Loops. No, it's two pump, by pow, and then put it up. I don't care how many pumps it was. One is one too yeah, many. Yeah, you brought up. All right, well, you're jerking off when you, when you drip. What? Shit you won't care about next week. What else, what else, what else we got there? I, I, I don't even know what the fuck. What the fuck? Um, what the fuck? The fuck? Sweetie the fuck. putting ranch on her spaghetti. I don't see nothing wrong with it. She just put too much. She should have listened to her boyfriend and just put a dab of ranch. That's all. <laughs> Andrew, do you put any, you have any food, like weird food combinations you eat? No. Actually, you know what I've been eating lately? They're fucking delicious. Dates and peanut butter. Amazing oh, snack. Try that. Dates what is, and peanut butter. What's dates? What's dates? Like, what is that? Not exactly sure. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like wifey talking. It is wifey that talking. Yeah, that's wifey yeah. talking. Definitely wifey talking, but that snack yep. is absolutely amazing and uh, kind of natural-ish, depending on the yeah, peanut butter. Yeah, it's healthy. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, no, but the putting all that ranch on was absolutely disgusting. But people do much. fuck with ranch. Like, Californians love ranch. They put that shit on pizza. They put that shit on yeah. Yeah. vegetables, yeah, pizza. everything. They love ranch. New York, we don't really fuck with ranch like that. We act like ranch not slapping. I put ranch, ranch on my spaghetti, good. but I don't do a, I don't yeah. do like what she did. I put it on a salad, right? And I always eat salad with spaghetti. So when it's together. on my salad, I mix it all yeah. together. You know what I mean? Because I like the I like the texture of the noodles and the lettuce and the ranch oh, dressing. Really? That tastes bomb. Hell yeah. yeah. Put some cut up carrots in that motherfucker too. You mix yeah, your salad that, with your spaghetti? Carrots? You said what? You mix your salad with your spaghetti? Like yeah, you just I love it all the I've time. I don't know why. Wow, that's crazy. I love it. I think I've it's a country thing because they, they, so they always put you get. They always put it exactly. Well, Wax said it's true. They put everything on the same plate. So yeah, so they, then you just eat it. So nah, <laughs> they put your string beans on the same <laughs> plate with spaghetti. They put your corn on the same that plate. That doesn't mean that you have Imagine to mix it up. But you don't gotta mash it together. Exactly. You don't have to mix it up. I did the spaghetti yams and salad. Nobody did those spaghetti and yams. That's disgusting. How would you even get yams and spaghetti together? That's some shit you do when you go to somebody's house and it's just leftovers in there so you just start putting exactly. shit together nobody made spaghetti and yams together <laughs> what you mean I put it all in one plate no so anything that's on one plate y'all feel like y'all had to mix I it up put it, it's all going in one spot so put it together I just, I'm eat like this anyway you, you know how you know America loves ranch though we don't think about it Doritos bro oh cooler ranch, ranch bro come on bro yeah. 
That Kurt bag of Doritos is way better than the blood bag, bro. The goat okay. Dorito, dog. The that, goat yo, that, Dorito. That, the Cool Ranch is so good that Bloods eat the Crip bag of Doritos, bro. Yeah, that's facts. That shit is good as fuck. That's facts. You're getting caught with a Cool Ranch. <laughs> it's called Cooler Ranch. Not just cool, cooler. <laughs> Wax it. Imagine getting caught with a cool ranch. What's wrong? Doesn't save you the blood. You know what I'm saying? You get caught oh, with a yeah, cool yeah, ranch yeah, yeah. bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. Let's do some asking idiots, man. And Let's get do the it. Up out Wait, of here. You know when respond with Tyrese's ex-wife? No. And there's nothing to respond to. What's there to respond to? I keep telling y'all that's a silly question. It's like. Tyrese's wife speaks on being with a celebrity. That's all. I just don't have. But there's no other. That's the. That, that is very specific. Yeah. Like, how do women feel about dating celebrities? How many women have really dated a real life celebrity, not some motherfucker on Instagram that you know because they goddamn set their balls on fire? You know what I mean? Like yeah. actual real life celebrities. It's not too many not people that dated famous, them. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um. I keep idiots. Yeah. When. Coming out with the name for the Brain Idiots, what were the other names you came up with? That's from Brandon Lee Acting. I don't know if we had other names. Did we ever have other names for Brilliant Idiots? We had a couple. Now I'm forgetting what they were. It was Brilliant Idiots. It was like, uh, oh, fuck. Uh, I'll name this podcast later. Cool. It was, uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was called... Uh, <laughs> what? The crazy part is, do you know who came up with the name for Brilliant Idiots? Yeah, this is a fun story. Bethany fucking Bethany Frankel. Bethany Frankel, really? yo. This this when Bethany had her talk show. She Bethany had her daytime talk show, and I used to be on Bethany's show all mm -hmm. the time. And I said something, and you know the audience went crazy, and she was like, "You're you you say the wildest things that make so much sense. You're like a brilliant fucking idiot." And I was like, Stuck. oh, brilliant idiots. Wow. Boom. Done. Hey, Locked man, and you loaded. Pay, you got to pay attention to life. Like, I promise you, whatever answer you're looking for in life, and I, this, is, this is a message to all creative, imaginative people, whatever answer you're looking for in life, just pay attention to life. That answer will come right to you. You just got to be open and, and shit will come from sources you weren't even thinking about, places you weren't even looking. That's why when I'm ever in the process of thinking about like a title or an idea or something, I just listen. Like, just listen to the universe. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're driving them things that catch your eye that you usually don't pay attention to. You're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Mm -hmm. And write that shit down. Something could be there. You never know. Right, um, give us another one, Taylor. I was looking at this one, knock one. How many women would Jesus have if? Um, he was still alive. How many women would Jesus have if he was still alive? I mean, none. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah one. He none. He's celibate. Yeah. He was. I mean, that's not what they showed on Family Guy. In light, oh god! In light of history, <laughs> Jesus ain't had no women. Yeah, he was chilling. Nah, he, he had Mary Magdalene. He was hanging out with sluts. Yeah, but you know that was him. Trying to help her out. He, she was cool. That nah, was him. You know his she greatest miracle. Fire ass neck. So that was his, no, no, uh, Jack, when Jesus was with Mary Magdalene, he was performing one of his greatest miracles, yeah. and it's a miracle that has not been documented in the Bible, and that's fucked up. Before Jesus turned water into wine, before he motherfucking, you know, walked on water, he turned the hoe into a housewife. Damn yeah. right. His greatest that transformation. His gra that was his greatest miracle. What a greatest miracle, man. God and bless you. Mary no credit for it. Back in the day, they didn't have condoms or nothing. It was just pull out game and sand. <laughs> That's what they was who, fucking with who, out there, bro. Who the fuck needs condoms when you got Jesus? Yo, yeah, he, yeah, he, he might have been saying, Jesus Adios. is my homeboy? Yo. Please. Yo, Jesus, I got a little chlamydia over here. Jesus, like. You get it right. Not even, Jesus don't even look. Jesus, like, eh. Just throw a little finger. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. come on. Mary Magdalene was clean. Yo, Jesus made Mary Magdalene a virgin again. Yeah. Oh, wow. shit. That's Dr. Mary Miami. That was the first Dr. <laughs> Miami, bro. <laughs> Jesus reset Mary Magdalene's body count, bro. He really did. Yeah. He's like Kanye. Don't sit part of miles back. That man. man is a real miracle worker. God yeah. bless Jesus. <clears throat> Salute okay. to you, Jesus. Jesus, you know our heart. Okay, yeah. don't judge us for this. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel bad. He, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? He made you, bro. He made you this fucked up. He made you have these jokes, man. That's on him. <laughs> he know he made. <laughs> he did, you right. He gave you these jokes. Taylor. He gave you these thoughts. He gave you everything, bro. So 
slang them jokes at his best friend who was a hooker. Honestly, Jesus might have just gave us, he might have just blessed us with some more miracles. Talk because Jesus like, finally somebody giving me credit for my greatest one. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> finally. They really think I walked, I didn't walk on no water. Okay. I, I bought this wine with me. It was, <laughs> okay. But you, I absolutely got your life together, man. Let's go, man. That's a Jesus, bro. They don't like to what? talk about that in church at all, man. You what? We got a call. Oh, shit. I got a call now? Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, man. <laughs> I got to fucking go. Listen, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.